$20,000 worth of drumsticks. We see conference after conference. There's 35 thousand dollars in picture frames. Seventy seven more conferences around the nation. And a hundred and four thousand dollars for consulting on a one day conference. Why are these agencies ignoring the president of the United States? All of that uh, is disturbing. House Republicans slamming the General Services Administration over their pricey junkets on the taxpayers dime. And get this right now the GSA is holding a conference at the Opryland Resort in Nashville. You know, talk about bad timing. My next guest on the panel probing these pricey powwows and also huge bonuses paid to GSA workers. California Republican Congressman Jeff Denham joins me now. First to the bonuses, sir, how much were they for GSA workers? About 44 million. We originally asked for an audit and they came back with about 10 million dollars. We went out and investigated and found out there was about 34 million in additional bonuses coming out of several different pots of money. All right, so basically one out of every 10 bucks that the entire federal government gives in bonuses goes to GSA workers. And, sir, GSA basically oversees the government's real estate. I don't get it. This seems to be a job you could do on autopilot. Uh, absolutely. I mean, everything from planning these conferences where they're hiring outside agencies to, uh, you know, the private realtors that could actually be selling these properties or uh, liquidating them or leasing them out better than, uh, than GSA does themselves. All right, so the one thing that just came out, too, was, you know, the GSA said, you know what, all right, we agree that we're going to cut back on the conferences, something like, you made a note of it, 77 conferences in just 18 months. Again, what are they having all these junkets for? They oversee buildings. I don't get it. But you pointed out, too, sir, that they're, you know, they're going to knock off the pricey team building exercises, but they're still doing it with a drumming exercise. Let's take a look at what they're doing. All right, so, sir, these are just basically federal workers in the GSA doing what's called a team building exercise. How much did this cost taxpayers? Uh, well, the whole uh, conference was uh, well over $100,000. I mean, this was one that, uh, again, it's another party where they gave out a number of different bonuses. Uh, and, and while it seems comical, you know, when you've got uh, over 8% unemployment across the nation, in my district, you've got double that. People are outraged, and it's got to stop. Yes, yeah, sir, what does the president say about all this? Well, the president issued a memo last August. Uh, he did an executive order. He did a separate executive order in November. The vice president called in every department and head and said, all of these need to have a department head sign off. And yet they've done 77 new conferences and celebrations. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait a minute. Hang on. Then. Hang on. Just a sign off. You know what I say? Fire them. Get rid of them. How come they're not being fired? The people who are wasting taxpayer dollars on junkets when this is an agency that has basically overseeing real estate, not doing their job, unloading real estate at the top of the market, costing taxpayers even more. Fire them. How come they're not being fired? They need to be fired. You know, under any business, if a CEO says, uh, here's the directive, uh, get, make sure that you've got sign off and, and they're not listening to that CEO, they'd be fired. So the question is, why isn't this president firing people when they're not, uh, when they're failing to uh, obey his executive orders? Yeah, that's a good question. But, the, you know, we just had the prior segment, the president is going on, you know, he's in re-election mode. He's on, uh, going on a lot of fundraisers, 120 in the past six months. He hasn't met with his job council once in all that time. But there's somebody else that the GSA can step in and fire these people. Who is it? Can you put the, uh, you know, basically the arm on them and say, tell them to knock it off, get rid of these people. Who is it at the GSA could do the job? Well, Dan Tangerlini is the new man in charge. He came in six months ago and said he was putting an end to all of this. And yet, uh, right now in Nashville, there's a whole new conference going on. Yeah, there it is at Opryland. We're going to be staying on top of this one. Thank you so much for your time, Representative Jeff Denham. Doing a lot of legwork. Really appreciate it, sir. Next.